Okay, so this video is just going to be about basic principles that make vacuum tubes work and basically how vacuum tubes work. Right here I have one of the simplest vacuum tubes that can amplify something, a triode. And a triode consists of a filament, a cathode, a grid, and a plate. And there can be numerous different modifications to this to make other kinds of vacuum tubes. There can be multiple grids and the filament could be the cathode itself instead of there being an extra piece of metal right here. But basically what vacuum tube, uh, how a vacuum tube works is that the heater has a voltage applied to it and when that happens that causes the filament to heat up and if it's a tube like this one it will heat up the, ca the cathode and the cathode will then have a cloud of electrons around it and when a positive potential is put onto the plate and a negative is put onto the cathode, the electrons will travel from the cathode to the plate or the anode. And Basically, right now, the tube just acts as a diode because there's nothing going on with this grid right here. But what we can do is that we can energize this grid. And what will happen when we... and what happens when we energize this grid if we energize it positive to... if we put a positive voltage on this um, to from if if we put a positive voltage on this um, comparable to the cathode I mean it could be a volt up or a hundred volts higher here than the cathode it just has to be higher this grid will become positively charged and it will cause electrons to flow faster to the plate causing more current to come out or more of voltage I'm not more power to come out of the tube but if we put a negative spike on the tube um, this will become negatively charged and it will slow down the flow of electrons from the cathode to the plate and it will decrease power and with what that does is that we can put a small signal on the grid and vary the signal much greater on the plate put a small signal in and you can get a very large signal out and I'm basically gonna and the amount of power and the amount of power increase from the power put on the grid from the power out from the plate that's called gain how many it's how many times the voltage from the grid is multiplied and right here I have some meters set up
This meter right here sim is the voltage on the grid, and this is the voltage from the plate to positive of the power supply. So I plug in the power supply and let the filament heat up. And I will turn on the power supply. And we'll see a small voltage on there because this isn't a perfect setup I have right here. And if I turn up the power to the grid, you can see that the voltage increases. And if I turn the power to the grid down, the voltage decreases. This you see right here is gain. The voltage from the plate to the anode, or from the plate to B+, plus, which is 300 volts. Right now, it's sitting with no current on the grid at about 125 volts. And I will turn up the grid voltage and that's seeing at about two and a half volts and we have an increase from 125 volts all the way up to 250 volts and that's like a hundred that's like a hundred gain right here that's like two and a half volts no wait that's no wait that's I don't know that's like a 175 volts, that's a 175 volt swing on the vacuum tube by just changing the voltage on the grid by 2 volts. And I'd say that's pretty impressive that this thing is able to do that. That's why I'm so fascinated with vacuum tubes and transistors and all that other stuff. So that's pretty much it. I hope you learned something.